action you're looking at. It's my uh, gripper. It's spring loaded right now. I've got four standard springs and then the one big one. That's what I work up to. I'll start out with just the four standard springs. jump in at too high a resistance, it'll make my uh, knuckles crack, you know, not cool. I like to get, you know, like I said, get myself all nice and warmed up with the easier resistance. And then I put on that big spring. I have more big springs too. Yeah, I, I got I got more. Just like uh, try and break through sticking points. But this is just warming up. That's my right hand. Now I'll try my left. I have this really bad knuckle. Really bad. My index knuckle. I messed it up last year. It's just uh, hitting the bag the wrong way, the heavy bag, hitting the lower part of it. I think I did something to my knuckle, and, and then probably my job worsened it, and then just never got fully recovered. Right now it's doing pretty good. I grip this uh, easier gripping resistance. Not too bad. Handling it pretty good. But yeah, like I said, I got this this thick spring, and then I also got uh, more than I keep in a drawer. For now, I'm just gonna use the one spring, the one big spring with the four standard springs. Pretty good. You gotta use this hand to hold on to it, side of it. Keep your balance. You can do it, and I can tilt it out. But it helps when you just use the other hand to better leverage. You know. See, gets gets the forearm really pumped pretty quick. I don't want to use this resistance with this hand because I got this messed up index finger knuckle. <laughs> you know, so I just stick with this resistance. As you can see, uh, it could hold. It's got four of them on right now. It could probably hold, if I had more of these, it could hold probably eight of them. So nine. But um, this is all there is. This thing was left to me by my dad, you know. He passed away back in April of 95. You know, God rest his soul, of course. I, uh, you know, have a lot of great <coughs> memories. And uh, one of them was, you know, when he was younger and I was a kid, you know, he. he had these massive forearms and he used to be able to do these crazy strength things, you know, I mean, he could, he could freaking, when I was sitting on a chair, like when I was about eight, eight or nine, you know, I weighed maybe, I was a small kid, 60 pounds, but if I was sitting on a chair, he could grab the bottom of the chair and just freaking lift me up <laughs> like it was nothing, you know, lift up the bottom leg of the chair and just, you know, pretty awesome. I actually did that with my brother, actually, one time. My younger brother, one time I did, when he was about eight or nine. Let's see, I was 24, and so he must have been like, he was 12, actually, when I did it. But my dad did it easier, though. 
I, I kind of, my dad could do it with his arm out, whereas I kind of got really close to the chair when I did it. My brother, he weighed maybe 90 or so, but I, like I said, I got right up to the chair when I did it, and I was mad, too. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, this this is a good gripper. You know, it, it pumps you up. Uh, they don't make this type anymore. They uh, they have this like um, forget the name of it, a Bonco, a Bonco gripper. If you look it up, if you Google it, it's you know the same principle as this. It looks different than this, obviously. This thing's from like I don't know, late '60s, early '70s. This thing's a dinosaur, but it's it's great, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't sell this thing. It's priceless. It's give me these, you know, this massive forearm de development. You know, it's really helped. It's played a big part. I started using this thing when I was 23, I remember. You know. Yeah. I started really using it when I was 24, 24, 25, I used it a lot, and then just off and on since then, you know, but I remember when I was really consistent using it, I remember I had like 15 and a quarter inch forearms, they were both like 15 and a quarter, now it's like my right one, if I pump it up, it's 15, and my left, if I pump it up, probably 14 and a half, you know. Yeah, my right forearm, you know, that's where I get all the, like, uh, ability to, like, hit the softballs way out when I go to the field, you know. And I can, like, do a one-handed pull-up, hammer grip. I can pull myself up about maybe three-quarters of the way, not totally all the way. I just do that at work. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, it's, it's a good gripper. I like it. Works good. Definitely better than those captains of Crush. Because this thing, you know, it's adjustable. And like I said, I got more springs for it. You know. But uh, I guess that will conclude this video clip. So, keep it real. One foot in the freaking gutter, one fist in the gold. <laughs>